Victoria was a happy young woman, freshly in college and ready for fun. But the new lifestyle presented many challenges. She had a problem getting to class on time, focusing, and her efforts to study were often unsuccessful. She just didn't seem to care. Inner science. Almost all acts are known to be motivated. Motivation is a drive that helps prepare an act towards a particular goal. The self-determination theory of motivation basically says there are different kinds of motivations, and the quality of motivation determines the quality of the outcome. So you have three kinds. Autonomous motivation, the kind done by choice, controlled, intrinsic or extrinsic pressure, and lastly, a motivation, which is lack of motivation. The motivation can also be positive or negative. Since motivation affects performance, positive and negative affects the outcomes, respectively. So motivation that brings positive emotional states will bring positive performances. Bringing all that together, positive and autonomous motivations are the best. They expand your abilities. There are some important things that pair with motivation. Back to the definition, it's supposed to help us towards a particular goal. So you need a goal to begin with. Let's say Victoria's goal is to skim two chapters of her invertebrate text this afternoon. Well, effort's also needed to get this done. Motivation helps prepare and act, but putting forth more effort, like studying well, will increase success. Lastly, there's self-efficacy. That is, your belief in the ability to do something. Remember how I said that positive autonomous motivations expand abilities? They also help build self-efficacy. Putting all that knowledge into action can be made easier by following the procrastination equation. I'm not going to mention much on that here, but it's a useful guide on how to increase your motivation. There's a handy graph I use to do my problem solving. So using Victoria here, her self-efficacy is good, so that makes her expectancy high. Victoria's environment wasn't helping her impulsiveness, so that needed to change. Fewer distractions, sitting upright, and being somewhere quiet are good ideas. Now we already changed her delay by giving her a clear, definite, and achievable goal. One of her bigger problems was value though, so we applied a few ideas that were very helpful. After the motivation intervention, Victoria put some of the ideas into practice. She changed her study environment to have fewer distractions. And to get herself started, Victoria needed to burn off some extra energy by going to the park. It might seem counterintuitive, but burning off the energy really helps with focus and with also having a positive intention. And her rewards are watching cat videos on YouTube. Now, she also needs to remind herself that a degree is a personal goal, not a pressure put on by anybody else. All this took time and problem solving, but her grades improved and she was able to both study and enjoy life. She constantly refines and monitors her progress, and some days do better than others. But the success is clear. A successful college student uses motivation to her advantage. Many successes get motivated without being fully aware how, but by understanding what motivation is and which types are most useful, anybody change, can change their life. Anyone can do it. And most anything else, since motivation works in animals like it does in people. <laughs> Thank you for watching.